Hello and welcome to Brain Chow. As you can see on your screen, the battle between T-Series and PewDiePie is getting very intense. The subscriber gap has fallen to less than 50,000 subscribers now. So it is high time that we do our part. So we have been very reluctant to make this video. We have been getting requests from you in the comment section that you should make a video about T-Series and PewDiePie. I think for months now, one yeah. or two months. So we were forced to make this video. <laughs> As an Indian, there is this temptation that I should support an Indian YouTuber over a foreign YouTuber or a Swedish YouTuber. But the problem is, T-Series is not a YouTuber. It it's is a, a company. Yeah, imagine this situation. A college kid from India makes the world's fastest car. The speed of this car is, let's say, 600 kilometers per hour. Then Mukesh Ambani decides that he wants to make the world's fastest car. What he does is he goes to his employees and orders them to make the world's fastest car for him. So a month later, Reliance comes out with a product, a car which is faster than 600 kilometers per hour. He beats this Indian college kid. So will you be more impressed with Reliance or will you be more impressed by this young college kid? So that's how I think about the situation. PewDiePie is an individual who is going up against this huge, huge company with many people working for them. And uh, I need to disclose this <laughs> fact that uh, I have been watching PewDiePie for a lot of years. I think I have been subscribed to him since 2012. That's almost six, six years. years. So I can be a little biased. Uh, but I do see why Indians are very angry about this because if you haven't watched PewDiePie before this drama It is very easy to think that he is very anti-India But that is not the case. He is very sarcastic. Yeah, very sarcastic. He, his uh, humor is sarcastic humor. Oh, another company claimed the whole video because of a two-second clip. Oh, that's great. That's fine because I especially I don't like me earning money, but I especially like when my money goes to someone else. That's how I like it. Yeah, and he makes fun of every country because he likes Japan a lot. I think Japan is his favorite country yeah. and he makes fun of Japanese culture. Not very maliciously, but he does make fun of Japan yes. here and there. Then he makes fun of UK, which is the country he is living in right now. He makes fun of UK, he makes fun of America, he made a video just focusing on Russia. Yeah, right. He made fun of Russia. I love Russian school memes just because it, it's like, what are they doing? What is this whole country doing? No one knows. <laughs> Seems like a fantastic place to get educated. I, I, re I really finally get why all, all the Eastern European people that watch my channel why they're such intellectuals i finally understand so he makes fun of all the countries even his own country yeah sweden he makes fun of sweden too so it's not like he's very anti-india but his humor consists of making fun of every country every person so that's the reason why he uh, did that stuff but um, I don't think he really hates India. I don't think at all. And I don't think he hates T-Series either. Because it is very clear that he does not care about T-Series versus PewDiePie. Even if T-Series goes above PewDiePie, he they get say 80 million subscribers. Still PewDiePie will remain the number one YouTuber in the world for a long time. Because an individual YouTuber that is close to him, I think 30 million subscribers yeah, or so, somewhere. not even half of PewDiePie. Now let's hear her opinion. I have a very confused opinion right now. I like PewDiePie. I mean, I have been subscribed to him not as long as him, but I have been and I totally enjoy all his videos. He's amazing, very funny, but I have a huge problem with Western audience. They have been so mean to Indians and India that... Yeah, if you see the... Uh, 
those the, live uh, sub counts are going on on uh, youtube there i see those people hate us for no reason and all the the all the stuff that they are saying i don't think it is even true yeah it is very annoying to see yeah. that uh, a lot of beauty pie fans are hating on india on indians making fun of us yes there is also this case of racial abuse but uh, that is that indians are also not very innocent i am sure <laughs> she is very biased towards india so she is like i cannot tolerate that but uh, it is two sided fight indians are also insulting americans britishers white people in yes, general yes but but the point that annoys me most is about toilets yeah because we have been improving yes. on it and they have no idea what the situation is and they just go on and on and on yeah it india is so endless india became this poor because of europeans so it is very difficult to hear europeans make fun of our poverty because they are the reasons for us being so poor but i don't hate puri pie i just i just don't like the the comments that they are making the audience so that's when i feel that it's okay i mean i, I can be unfair and i can just go with india and t series but it is not fine i know puri pai is a very self made man and whole of his channel he has made it single handedly he has come this far on his own and he is amazing so i don't know i support him too yeah i have i have listened to his interviews yeah he came up from a very very sad situation he dropped out of college he was working in a hot dog, hot dog stand so i was like all right i'll get a job whatever no big deal it's really hard to get a job actually turns out so i i was i it was so desperate to prove my parents wrong like i can get a job so i got a job uh selling hot dogs he was working in a hot dog st- stand outside his college some of his friends also visited his a hot dog stand and uh, I It can think be very awkward. Yeah, it is very embarrassing. Yeah. Every once in a while, someone from my class, which I clearly didn't even know, but they knew who I was, saw me there, and it's like, "Oh, you're here now. Cool." <laughs> the school where literally like anyone that finishes it will become like a boss or whatever, and then there's me in the hot dog stand. But uh, he has gone through those troubles. Now he is at the top. So I actually respect what yeah. he has achieved. And I think he totally deserves the number one YouTuber tag. Yeah, he has been very smart with his content. He has always changed it up <laughs> because it is very tempting to stay with what yes. is working for you. But he actually takes risks and changes up his content. and that's why he is at the top he is still the number one youtuber yes and he has made some mistakes as well yeah but he has been humble enough to even come out with apologies and we can see so many apologies on youtube these days which are not very convincing but, but he, uh, he seems genuine yes he is, does not make a lot of excuses for his mistakes he owns it up Yeah so that's why we actually have some respect for PewDiePie and I am a complete fanboy so <laughs> <laughs> so but uh, I can understand as i said i can understand if you hate this and i understand if you want to dislike this video as well yes. because this is not a popular opinion among indians uh, our audience is majority yeah from india so we are taking a risk as well yes it because is not at all we wanted smart. to be honest with you if we wanted a lot of likes we wanted people to share our videos we could be dishonest we could say that yes no, we are supporting t series go india but uh, we just don't see this as a battle between india and rest of the world we see it as an individual versus, versus a company but uh, it is very difficult to see it like that if you haven't watched pudi pai at all yeah before this drama but it is really um, amazing that he has been able to stay in this battle for this long isn't it yeah i thought uh, t series would overtake yeah. pudi pai last month or so sorry if this video offended you uh, but we just don't see it as india versus rest of the world and that is why our opinions are like this we are not anti nationals 
feel free to smash that dislike button i think he really wants dislikes this time yeah <laughs> not really but uh, i want people to know that it is okay to dislike our yeah, opinions yeah of course they know they do dislike us so much <laughs> i just want them to know that it is fine to disagree with our opinions our opinions we are not saying that we are right we are saying that this is our opinion and uh, your opinion might be different so that's okay that's it see you next time bye bye